Hey there, and welcome to the Do Life Big podcast. This podcast is going to be your jam if you want to live to your full potential and don't believe in half-assing anything in your life. If we want to do life big, that means we've got to get out of our own way because we only have this one shot to make it awesome. I'm your host, Kathy, and I'm a mom of three whose BFF is cold brew, a retired school teacher turned online entrepreneur and an author. I'm loud, bold, and will always keep it real. I'm determined to live my best freaking life possible, and I'm here to help you do the same. I'll be packing this podcast with tips, motivation, inspiration, and strategies to finally get you where you want to go. And we will have a ton of laughter along the way because let's be honest, we can't ever take ourselves too seriously, right? I'm so excited you are here with me today. Now let's get this party started. Hey, my friend, what's up? And welcome back to Do Life Big. I am pumped that you are here today for this episode because I am literally on cloud nine right now with so much energy and so fired up. I have so many ideas in my mind and so much incredible information that my mind feels like it's going to literally blow up. (laughs) I'm just coming off of a three-day live virtual business event that I literally just ended a couple hours ago, and it was absolutely incredible. Probably the best event, business event I've ever attended. And for those of you who don't know, I started a new business this past July where I have created a mindset program designed for entrepreneurs to teach you how to break your limiting beliefs so that you can build a six-figure plus business. And um, it's not open for enrollment right now, but it will be soon. So stay tuned. Keep your eyes and ears open. But in the meantime, you can always get on the wait list for it at kathyreuter.com slash wait list. And that will also be in the show notes too. So you can go check it out there and put your name on the wait list if you're interested in hearing more about it. So I had signed up for a new business mentor over the summer who is an expert in this area of course creation. And I was looking forward to this event the past five, six months. And I was so excited to be a part of it. And typically it's held in person in Arizona, which I'll be able to go to that one more towards the end of this year. But something about being in the room and around other people who have the same vision for how they want to live their life or how they want to build their business is so powerful. So I just want to talk about that for a minute here today. I want to talk about the importance of getting in the room and around these types of people, networking and connecting with people who are either already where you want to go, like they've already done it, they've already been there, done that, so you can learn from them, right? Like learn from the expert or just being around people who have that same growth mindset as you. They want that same kind of growth and positive change in their life getting yourself in those situations, even if it's uncomfortable, even if you don't know anyone, makes all the difference in your life and how it flourishes in your business and how you can grow your business. And it's everything. Even if it makes you nervous, you've got to force yourself to put yourself into these situations. Even if you don't really know the person or the people, you've got to get out there and be willing to meet these kinds of people, to connect with these kinds of people. Everything in life is all about connection and networking. That is the most important thing. And, you know, I want to tell you, I was nervous these past three days. I'm not going to lie because, you know, we're all here. And and let me tell you, it was nice. Let me just side note here for all the stay at home parents. (laughs) It was really nice being able to step out of my house, out of the stay at home mom role and bring my little laptop to Panera, open it up put my little earbuds in. I got my big iced coffee. I ordered my nice big salad and listen to this business training that's going to help me help you live your best life and be able to just focus on that. You know, every stay-at-home parent just needs a little bit of a break. So anyways, it was nice to get away just for a couple of days here and uh, have my husband deal with all the stay-at-home duties. (laughs) Thanks, Nick. But anyways, as I was saying, I was nervous to be on these live Zoom calls. Everyone could see each other, right? Our cameras were turned 
on. And I'm a newbie at this new business, right? I just started in July. So I don't have too much experience to share for it. And our mentor broke us all up into these breakout rooms, they were called, right? Now, basically what that means is that randomly, somehow behind the scenes, like a magician, they <laughs> like separated all of us and put us into our own little rooms within Zoom with about six to seven people. So they were going to put us in these rooms and all of a sudden the screen was just going to pop open and I'd be in this like little Zoom room here with six or seven people who I have no idea who they are and I'm a newbie at all this. And the question that he had asked prior to breaking us into these breakout rooms was, I want you to share what is working for you in your business. And I sat there. And I looked at my paper where I was taking notes and I seriously said to myself, I honestly have nothing to freaking share, <laughs> like nothing to share right now because I'm just so new at this. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I don't know what I can possibly say that's going to add value to these other people. And you know what I did? I freaking logged off of the Zoom and left the meeting, <laughs> right? So I immediately was like, leave right before he broke us off into the breakout rooms. And within like 10 seconds, I was like, Kathy, seriously, this is pathetic. You know, you can't run from this stuff. Like, this is how you grow. Anytime that you feel nervous or you feel like scared to do something or you feel worried or you feel that sickness in your stomach, like I'm going to throw up, then that means that you should do it. And this is something I always say to people. And now I wasn't taking my own advice. I was getting so wrapped up in this fear of, I don't have anything to add. I'm going to look like an idiot because I have nothing to share that I just was like, boop, hopped off. Well, I hopped back on <laughs> and I said, I do have stuff I can share. I can share, first of all, about how I got right to business and launched this podcast over the summer, I came up with the idea. I want to launch a podcast. I want to add more value. I want to help more people. I want to have a bigger impact and more of an impact on more people's lives. I'm going to launch it. And I did it. And I've stayed consistent with it every single week for 21 episodes so far. Go me. <laughs> so I was like, I can share that because that's helpful. And I also said, all right, you were teachable. When you went through the training with your business mentor, one of the first things they said to do when you start your course creation and you create your own digital product, your own course, is to hire a virtual assistant from the Philippines and immediately start delegating work to this person so that you can stay focused on the most important pieces of the business. And we did that. We went through the training. We hired an amazing VA. She goes through, she edits you know, everything on the podcast breaks it up into smaller clips that I can use as reels or on Instagram or however I want to use it, all kinds of things with graphics and it just makes my life so much easier. And so I said, all right, I don't have, he wanted us to share five things that was working for us. And I said, I don't have five. I have three. I can share the podcast. I can share the fact that we actually hired a virtual assistant to help us with the business right from the beginning, like he said to do. This is the start of our team. And I'm consistent. I'm the consistency queen. And I know from experience that consistency always wins. So I'm going to share those things, three things. So I hopped back on. They immediately put me into a room and I shared those things. And after the breakout rooms were over, the two most reoccurring things that he shared that he heard other people sharing in these breakout rooms, the most impactful things that they heard were to number one, I need to start a podcast. And number two, hire a virtual assistant immediately. So I just took a step back and I thought, see, that wasn't so bad. And what you actually had to say actually helped other people and added value. And it made a difference, even though I was nervous because I was the newbie. And so my whole point of this story is that you have to be okay being a beginner, being a new learner, being the newbie. You have to be okay if you're in that part of your journey because we all start there. 
right? You can't just come in and be the master at it. Like you have to go through these motions. You have to try things, see what works, see what doesn't work. Put yourself in these situations where you feel uncomfortable and you may be a little nervous, right? But that's good because every time you feel that way and every time you force yourself to do it anyway, that's where you see growth on the other side. And so even though I let fear get the best of me there for a second, it was only for a split second because I basically gave it the middle finger and I hopped back on. (laughs) Go me. I was like, this is pathetic. How can you close out of this thing? And you're just sitting here staring at nothing now. (laughs) This is ridiculous. So there is so much that I need to learn personally myself in this new business that I started. And I'm totally okay with that. I'm totally okay. There are so many more pieces to this business versus the um, original business that I started with not almost nine years ago now with my health and fitness business, that was very simplistic, very simplistic. And this one is a lot more pieces to the puzzle. You have to learn how to write a certain way. You have to learn how to talk and deliver a message a certain way. There's just so much to it, but I'm okay with it. And I will be patient and I'll go through it because I know that I'll figure it out because I remember Nine years ago, when I first decided to start my health and fitness business, and I remember having a call with my mentor at the time, I was up in Massachusetts, and I remember I was sitting on my big, huge brown couch in the living room with the cathedral ceilings, and it was late at night. The kids were really little back then, four months old and 22 months old, and they were in bed, and I was just sitting there just in the dark, and I remember I had just gotten off of the call with my mentor, and she was saying all of this terminology and giving me all of the information and all the ins and the outs of the business and saying all these words. I had no idea what the heck they even meant. And I hung up the phone call and I stood up from the couch and I walked over to the corner of the back of the room. And my mind was just racing with everything that she just said and how I knew nothing about it because I knew nothing about business when I started that business. I didn't have a business background. I went to school to be a teacher. I was a teacher for 10 years. So this was all new to me. And she was saying all these words and telling me all these things. And I literally said to myself, oh my gosh, am I smart enough to figure this out? (laughs) Like, am I going to be able to figure this out? And yeah, of course you can figure it out. You know, I had to kind of rein it in a little bit and I had to take it day by day. And then next thing you knew, because of consistency and because of saying, I'm going to figure it out. If other people can do it, I can do it. I can always figure it out because everything's figure outable. That's how I went on to build a six figure business in that within my first year. And so I'm used to this being the newbie and I'm used to this feeling of, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to be patient and I'm going to be willing to try. And so I want you to think right now about you in your life or maybe your business or maybe the business that you have been thinking about starting that you haven't yet. What is that area in your life right now where you know there's something that you should probably do next? Maybe it's a call that you know you need to make or a meeting that you know you need to have, but you've been avoiding it. I'm challenging you to face that fear that you have and do it anyway so that you can grow, so that you can go on to start to make positive changes in this year. So that when you look back, you can be like, damn, I went all out. I gave it all I got. I had a great year. No matter where you are, you need to honor the journey and the struggle. You have to enjoy all parts of the journey, the parts that are easier for you, the parts that are harder for you, the parts that don't work out, because you either always get what you want or you get what you need. And you can't get the things that you want until you've gone through getting those things that you need so that you can learn the lessons that you need to learn in order to get the things that you want in life. You have to become the kind of person who can achieve these things that you want to achieve and these things that you want to do. And you've got to be willing to put yourself in situations that are a little bit uncomfortable. You've got to be willing to come out of your comfort zone. You have to be willing to do something a little bit different than what you've been doing if you want to get a different outcome, right? And so we're going to be doing that this year together. So ask yourself right now, is this path that I'm on right now, am I on it with heart? And is it worth it? And if the answer is yes, then you know you're down the right path and you're doing what you're meant to do. 
So don't let anything hold you back. If you can't answer yes to those questions, if you feel like what you're doing is just going through the motions and you're on autopilot and you have no passion or no heart for it and you feel like this isn't worth it, then you know that you need to make some changes there. But only you can decide what those changes are and the path that you need to go down. And ask yourself, write this down. If you're driving, obviously not, (laughs) right? Write it down when you stop. Who would you become and what kind of a difference would you make if you knew that you wouldn't fail? Think about that. Who would you become and what kind of a difference would you make if you knew that you wouldn't fail? It wasn't even an option for you to fail. What would that look like? I know personally for me, I have to be doing something where I am making a positive impact on other people's lives. It's the reason why I graduated college with an education degree and a master's degree in special education. I wanted to become a teacher so that I could make a difference in children's lives and to help them, to teach them. And then when I started my health and fitness business, I wanted to do that so that I could help other people feel good about themselves, regain confidence in themselves, learn to love their bodies, learn to get that belief back in themselves. Again, that they could do it even if they had three kids and a C-section, you can still get your body back. I wanted to teach them and help them earn income from home so that they could do that as a full-time job and spend more time with their family. And now with my current business that I have with my mindset program, I'm doing the same thing. I want to teach people and help people break those limiting beliefs that are holding them back, all that self-doubt, all that fear that keeps you stuck. I want to teach you how to do that so that you can go on to live your best life and build your six-figure plus business or whatever that looks like for you so that you have tons of joy and excitement in your life. If I'm not making an impact or doing something where I feel I'm making an impact or making a difference, then I just feel like, what the heck is the point? That's just my personal opinion, right? You have to lean into the unknown. And be excited and eager about it. Don't fear it. Don't get stressed out about it or think negatively about the what ifs. Because that which you fear or worry about, you just set into motion. So we're not going to do that. So what's that area you're trying to change or grow in right now? And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the next right thing that you need to do? to start to get the ball rolling. And it could be something as simple as the call you need to make, the meeting you need to have, the Zoom call you need to show up to, the question you need to ask in your mastermind or to your mentor. Whatever it is, only you have the answer to it. And I am challenging you to do it anyways, to be okay being new at it, be okay being the beginner, And have the faith that you're going down the right path and that you will figure it out and that you will learn what you need to learn. And you're going to do it scared and you're going to do it nervous. And you're going to come out even stronger and more confident with more knowledge and more growth than ever before because of it. So I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to tag me on Instagram at Katherine Reuter. And thanks for being here. I believe in you so much. You know I love you. Keep crushing it. And I will see you the next time. See ya. Thanks so much for listening in. I really appreciate you choosing to spend your time here with me today. You totally rock. Hey, listen, if you love today's episode, go ahead and tag me on social and go share this with a friend right now. Like do it immediately before the day gets ahead of you and you totally forget. Couldn't be more pumped to be on this journey with you guys. Go make today awesome, and I will see you the next time.